my kids. I'm here tonight to tell you another story. Um, and I want to, um, when we left off, we had our palms out and we were waving our palms and celebrating Jesus coming into Jerusalem. And the story that I have to read to you today is not as happy, okay? This is the sad part of the story for Holy Week. This is the Friday night story, okay? Parents, I want to ask you, please do not use this as a bedtime story. This is a dark story, okay? This is a daytime story. It's okay to get something to snuggle with and to sit with someone when you hear this story because it is a dark story and it's hard to, we don't want to gloss over it too much, okay? I'm going to be as, as succinct as I can um, in telling this part of the story and, and I will remind you as always that we're going to end with bad news tonight, but we know that there is good news coming, okay? Are you ready for this part of the story? Oh, and the candles. We, I know it's hard for you to see, but we have one candle here in the middle. One candle left burning, okay? When I am, when I am done with my story, I'm going to put out that last candle, and they will all be out. This is the story of the people who wanted to put out Jesus' light, okay? I'm going to be reading from a book, um, it's actually a bilingual book, Mi Primera Biblia, my first Bible, okay, and um, let's see, this is published, they're not very clear about who published it, um, oh, QEB Publishing is who published this, okay, it was written by Catherine Sully and illustrated by Simona San Filippi, San Filippo, San Filippo. Okay, I'm only going to read the English part, don't worry. Okay, maybe I'll record some of these stories in Spanish another time. This is the Easter story. Let's pray before we read it. Dear Lord, open our hearts, settle our hearts. Make us brave to hear this sad story. Help us hear your grace in all of this. Amen. The Easter Story It was a long, dark night. Jesus was in trouble. Some people said he was the king of the Jews. The king didn't like it. While Jesus prayed, Peter James and John sat under the trees keeping watch. But one by one, they fell asleep. At sunrise, Jesus saw another apostle coming. It was Judas with a crowd carrying torches and swords. Jesus woke the apostles. Hello, master said Judas, and kissed Jesus on the cheek. Now the priests knew which man was Jesus. Jesus was arrested. Peter swung his sword, but Jesus told him not to fight. Peter, James, and John ran away. Wow, I wonder how they were feeling. They must have been so confused. Don't fight. Let them arrest you. Why? They didn't understand. Jesus was taken to the chief priest. Peter had followed and was listening from a safe distance. But someone spotted him. You! You were with Jesus, they said. No, I wasn't, said Peter. I didn't know him. Three times Peter said he didn't know Jesus, just as Jesus said he would. Then the rooster crowed, and Peter cried because he hadn't stood up for Jesus. He felt so bad. He was so scared. 
the priests took Jesus to Pilate, the Roman governor. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked him. Jesus said nothing. Pilate asked the crowd, What has he done? He's hurt no one. But the crowd was angry. Who shall I let go? asked Pilate. Barabbas, the murderer, or Jesus, king of the Jews? Let Barabbas go, they cried. Pilate was amazed, but he let Barabbas go. Here's Barabbas, the soldiers, they're letting him go. Here's Pilate, he's like, really, this is the guy you want me to arrest? He didn't understand either. Excuse me. The crowd made fun of Jesus as he was taken to a hill called Calvary. They put a crown of thorns on his head to make fun of him. Jesus was nailed to a wooden cross between two thieves. If you're the son of God, said the mean thief, why don't you save yourself? What has he done? He's hurt no one, said the kind thief. So one thief made fun of him, and one thief was kind to him. At the middle of the day, the sky went dark. The darkness lasted for three hours. God forgive them, Jesus cried. They don't know what they are doing. At the same moment, the earth rumbled and Jesus died. A Roman soldier was standing guard. He really was the son of God, he said. Look at the people, how sad they are. That same evening, a man called Joseph, a, a different Joseph than we've heard about before, took Jesus' body to a stone tomb. Here's the stone cave. He washed Jesus and dressed him in clean clothes. Then he rolled a heavy stone over the opening of the tomb. Soldiers came to guard the tomb. I wonder why soldiers were guarding it. All this time, Jesus' friends, Mary Magdalene and Mary from Galilee, were watching. And that's where I'm going to leave it tonight. be back with good news on Sunday. So you hold tight to the grace that Jesus died for you and me. And I will see you on Sunday.